What's up guys, it's Master MV. Welcome to this new video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the X2 and what I use for my EMV. Um, yeah, this is a highly requested video. There are a lot of videos of me going around. My only username is the one you see in this video. So don't fall into any other people and try and impersonate me. This is my only real account at Master EMV on Telegram and this on YouTube. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the tutorial. I got a lot of questions on how to write on your Jacob, on the Jacob chip. What do you exactly need? Guys, it's not that hard. Just listen to the steps I'm giving you now. This is some free sauce. If you need other extra help or services or whatever you need, you can contact my Telegram. And for now, we're going to start with the video. So what you will need is a valid X2 software. And how you can see if your X2 is valid, that's a really hard one, but also a really simple one. Because it can look the same as a working legit one. But if it doesn't actually write on the chip, but it said it does or did, then it means your software is not valid. It can be a demo version, it can be a fake version. So please check if your software actually writes and if you're missing some software, you know where to go. Okay, so we're gonna start. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your blank Jacob into your rear rider. This can be an Omni key, this can be an ACR, but make sure it's an EMV chip reader rider and I suggest an Omni key for it. So when you have your Omni key plugged in and you, uh, you put in your blank Jacob, the first thing what you're going to do is go to mode and then you go to ISD generate. And this is your real valid step because now you're going to read the card and see if anything's written on your blank Jacob. If your Jacob is really blank, then nothing will get pops, uh, will show here. But if your Jacob is already used or already something written on it, then information will pop up here. So that's why we check. So we're going to hit read card. I'm not going to do that now. At least I will try. But you know with the rules and uh, video creation, I can't show everything here. But um, yeah, for the sake of this video, hit read card of the blank Jacob and see if any information pops up. Now, when you've done that, um, the, the thing you need is you need to see if everything is blank on the card. If it's blank, you're going to remove your Jacob, your blank Jacob out of the um, Omni key. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put in a real valid card with a real chip. This can be an old CC, an old bank card, whatever you would like. Uh, it doesn't have to work anymore as long as the chips on it is valid. And what you're then going to do is you're going to hit read card again, and then the information will pop up here. And then what you're going to do is generate the IST. So you hit generate IST, then you get the option to save your IST file, and you're going to save it somewhere on your computer or laptop, whatever you have. Um, and then we're going to go to the next step. But make sure you generate an IST by hitting read card and generate IST and save it onto your computer. Remove the old card or whatever real uh, valid chip card you put in from the Omni key. And then we're going to load the ISD with our track 2 on the blank Jacob. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit ISD load on mode. So ISD load here. And what we're going to do here you see the function to open a file. And this is where you open the ISD file you just made and you just generated. Real important guys. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fill in here your track 2. Really important, and if you don't know where, you, where to get your track to, okay. Card holder's name, the stolen name of the card, country code, currency, um, application label, I leave this blank. You can also fill in the track 1, um, but it's important that you do this step right, the ARQC1. ARQC2 and 3 are different methods for, you can hit me up for that, but for this video I'm going to show you how to do the ARQC1, and you're good to go. So, what you're going to do is, you have your ARQC1, and you open MasterCard EMV Decrypt. This one is really good. You fill in the number and then the only thing you need to do is generate and a lot of information will pop up here. Now, you only want to search for the ARQC, so that's this one here. You're going to copy this one to this one, the ARQC1 field. And then what you're going to do, you have everything ready. You plugged in your blank Jacob. The only thing you're going to need to do, guys, is hit burn. I'm going to do this now for the sake of the video, but nothing will get pop up because I don't uh, yeah, have any reader writer now in this computer because the video will get taken down. And here you will see I hit burn. It says please open valid IST file. In your case, it's going to say uh, written successfully or written complete. Then what you're going to do is go to mode, IST generate, and you're going to hit read and see if the information of everything you've written pops up. 
So that was it guys, real easy. This is the basic on how to ride with the X2. If you need any more assistance on how to do the ARQC2 and 3, and if you need some softwares or whatever, help, contact my Telegram, and I can help you and, uh, and get you ready. Thanks for watching, like the video guys, and see you on to the next one. Bye.